few weeks back, Daddario came out with their new set of coded XT strings. Uh, this is supposed to be a new coding that has all the benefits of a coded set of strings without any of the drawbacks, the tone, right? Most people say that an uncoded set of strings always sounds better. Uh, so Daddario is claiming that these pretty much sound just, just as good. And that's what we're going to test in this video. I have no affiliation with the company. All we're going to do now is listen to the XT set back to back with the same playing samples. Uh, the same playing style, guitar picks, microphone, guitar even, against a brand new set of phosphor bronze, an ordinary set of phosphor bronze strings. So the only difference here is the coding, hopefully. Timestamps are in the description if you'd like to skip to the playing samples. Right now I'm going to talk a little bit about the XT set of strings uh, and also what the parameters for this, uh, this comparison is going to be. So the XT set, obviously they claim that they sound as good as an uncoded set. Uh, they also claim that they have better break resistance, uh, better tuning stability, and last even longer than their older uncoded set. Now I can't testify for the break resistance. Uh, I haven't honestly broken a guitar string in probably almost a decade now. Uh, but I can say that when I did the comparison a few days ago versus now, the tuning stability thing holds out. The humidity's changed a lot since then. The temperature too, over the weekend it was in the 80s. Right now, believe it or not, it's June, but it's like in the 40s here. Uh, and so I really haven't tuned this guitar since I put them on a few days ago. And it's pretty much still in tune, probably 99%. Uh, I will say that the strings feel just a little bit different than uncoated strings, and so I guess that's to be expected, right? Uh, the XT set also advertises that they're using the same high carbon steel core as the NYXL strings uh, that they put out a few years ago, which have been really popular. Uh, people like them. It's Daddario's kind of like premium uncoated guitar string. I thought I should also fill you in on the equipment that I'm using today. I've got a stereo set of Slate Digital ML1 microphones, large body condenser, very flat response, high fidelity that I'm sending into an SSL 2 Plus interface. Guitar picks I'm using are a, uh, first you're gonna hear a Dunlop Tortex 0.6 millimeter, very standard guitar pick, works great for that, that classic strumming sound. Uh, and then I've got a Dunlop Jazz Tone 205, which is my pick of choice, thicker, nylon. Uh, and then lastly, we have a blue chip Tad 50, which a lot of bluegrass players and acoustic enthusiasts in general are gonna appreciate, I think. I'm also gonna play finger style a little bit to hopefully give you uh, a broad spectrum of what these strings can, can handle well. The guitar I'm using is an Eastman E20 OM. It's modeled after Martin's OM28. It's a fantastic instrument uh, that I've done a couple videos on this channel already on, and I, I think it's gonna be a great fit for these strings. Anyway, no more talking from me as we go through the playing samples here. The only thing I ask, just leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. Do you like the XT set or you still prefer the uncoated strings?
So there it is, that's my comparison of the new Daddario XT strings versus a set of the original uncoated strings. Let me know what you thought in the comments if you haven't yet. If this video was helpful, please leave a like down below. It'll hopefully recommend this video to someone else that it'll be beneficial to as well. And if you enjoy this kind of thing, I do a lot of videos of this sort, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I also wanted to let you know that if you're someone that uses an impulse response loading device where you're able to load in your own custom IRs, I've just released a free package of impulse responses that'll be linked in the description it's on my website it's free download it try it out with your own device let me know how it goes I'd love to know and lastly if this video has inspired you to try out those new XT strings or you want to know a little bit more about any of the equipment I used in this video all the links are going to be in the description that's how I earn a little bit of income uh, just based off my time and my monetary commitment to these videos I obviously trashed a brand new set of strings making this uh, so that's my own way of earning a little bit of money back there there are affiliate links, which means that I might earn like 50 cents if you buy that set of strings. Anyway, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.